everyone and welcome back to next stage designs with me Sylvia in today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet this bikini cap for any size this video I will be using my favorite cotton yarn I will be using this one you can use any yarn you like or prefer just make sure it's the same weight so this one is a DK weight yarn also you will need a stitch marker and with this yarn I will be using 3.5 millimeters hook you will need a yarn needle a tape measure and a pair of scissors and I like to use cotton yarn during the summer because it's a natural fiber and it is so nice on your skin but of course you can use any yarn you like or prefer so for today's cap you will need two measurements first measurement will be from the bottom of your breast to the middle of your nipple so measure it and then chain as many as you need to get this measurement. For my size cup D, I chained 20. Then the second measurement you will need, you will need to know your full size cup. But this size cup, you can adjust as you work. So for me, cup size D, I have done about six and a half inches, but of course, as you work, you can measure it on you and decide how much coverage do you want. So if you want bigger coverage, of course, you will continue working on your rounds or rows there and back, there and back until you have the size of your cup you need. So your first measurement you will need will be from the bottom of your breast to the middle of your nipple. So you will measure like so. So the second measurement you will need will be your full cup size. So from here, somewhere here. like so so it depends how big you want your cup to be maybe you want it more sexier so you will make it smaller maybe you want more coverage so you make it a little bit bigger so you will add more rows of single crochet back loop only so this first measurement will be from the bottom of your breast to the middle of your nipple. So now we are going to start with the slip knot, hold your yarn and like so, wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross. Go under this first one, on top of the second one, pull it down and twist your hook and this is your slip knot. Now I am going to chain a long chain, which is the measurement from the bottom of my breast to the middle of my nipple, as I show you in this short video. So I already measured myself and I am cap D. So for me, I will need to chain 20. So yarn over and pull through one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i chained 20 and in measurements i have about four inch and in centimeters it's 10 centimeters from the bottom of my breast to the middle of the nipple. So once you have a long chain as you need, now we are going to start into this second chain 
from the hook and into that second chain from the hook you are going to place single crochet so insert like so yarn over bring it up two loops on your hook yarn over and finish your single crochet if you want you can place a stitch marker so you can clearly see where is your first single crochet now you are going to place single crochet in every stitch across like so and make sure you crocheting nice and tight so you will work single crochet across like so And if you are a beginner and you're working with the same yarn as me, you can tell this is 100% cotton yarn. So we can split a little bit. So if you are a beginner, please practice with the acrylic yarn and then come back to cotton. Because I really love to work with cotton during the summer. So you will work like this all the way across until you have only one chain left and once you get here I show you what to do next. So place your single crochet. I am finishing here and I have only one last chain left here and into this chain you will place three single crochet all three in the last chain so insert your hook that's my first single crochet into the same place place second single crochet and into the second one you will place a stitch marker that will be our middle stitch right here so place the stitch marker and as i said we need three so we need one more into the same place like so nice and tight so we have three single crochet in this last chain. So now we are going to work on this side here. As you can see, this is the bottom part of our chain. So we have only these loops here. So now I'm going to show you how we're gonna work on this side. So we worked here and we placed three single crochet in this last chain and now as you can see we have these tiny loops here and we'll be working right there so your stitches will be opposite these stitches from this side here so this will be your next single crochet here then here then here and so on and now you have two options you can hold this long end like so so you can hide it as you work or you can just leave it and hide it later on with your yarn needle so it's totally up to you so let's work on this side so as i worked three single crochet here my next one will be right here and I'm holding this yarn end so I don't have to hide it later on so that's my first single crochet and please crochet as tight as you can I am crocheting a little bit loose so you can see the stitches much better so the next one will be right here the next one right here 
and now you can clearly see the stitches are opposite each other nicely so you will work like so all the way down and once you get somewhere here i show you what to do next so place your single crochet all the way across and also once you are somewhere in the middle you can cut this yarn end because it's already hidden inside so it's not gonna be in the way and i'm finishing here and as you can see i have one stitch here and then the last one right here like so and this is my very first stitch now you can take this stitch marker out now you are going to chain one and turn your work and from now on you can decide if you want to work under the full stitch or like me i decided to go under the back loop only so i have front loops here and i have back loops here and i decided to work under the back loop only but always in this first stitch middle stitch and last stitch i will work under the full stitch if you would like to see this cap how i done it with the single crochet under the full stitch i will leave the card in the right top corner so you can check how i done the bikini top when i was working under the full stitch but for this video i decided to work under the back loop only so let's get started now my very first stitch we chained one and my very first stitch will be right here so we chain one now we are going to insert under the back loop only like so and finish your single crochet find the next and finish your single crochet like so and this single crochet back loop only will give you a really nice ribbing look so you will work like so single crochet back loop only and once you get somewhere here i will show you how to deal with this part in the middle so i am nearly at the top as this will be the top part and i have one single crochet back loop only here and now as you can see in this last stitch we had three stitches so we will work back loop only into this first one but into the middle one where we place three single crochet we will work under the full stitch and then we will continue working single crochet back loop only into this third one and all the way down so we have one two and three on top so i will work single crochet back loop only here and now where is my stitch marker i will take it out and where was my stitch marker as you can see this stitch here i will work under the full stitch so one two 
and into the second one replace your stitch marker so you know this is your middle stitch as they are tiny and sometimes it's very difficult to see so i have done one single crochet second one where i placed my stitch marker and then i will place one more single crochet so we will have three single crochet in the middle stitch and now i will simply continue working single crochet back loop only all the way down nice and tight So we will continue like so and once you are somewhere here i show you how do i finish into this last stitch and i am finishing and you can clearly see i have two stitches left here so into this one i will do single crochet back loop only but into the very last one i will go under the full stitch so this is my front loop and this is my back loop as you can see here i have front and back loop and i will work my single crochet like so and you will always do so now chain one and turn your work and you will do again the same thing so you will work single crochet back loop only all the way up and once you get to your three stitches at the top you will work single crochet back loop only into this first one then into the middle one you will work under the full stitch and you will place three single crochet under the full stitch the middle one and then into the third one you will continue placing single crochet back loop only all the way down and once you get to your last stitch again you will work under the full stitch so i will show you one more time so this is my this is my chain one and this is my first stitch here so work single crochet back loop only nice and tight like so all the way up once you get here i show you what to do next and once again as you can see i have three stitches on top so i have one two and three i will work single crochet back loop only into this one in the middle stage i will work under the full stage and i will place three single crochet there and then into this third one i will start to work single crochet back loop only all the way down and once i come to my last stage i will work single crochet under the full stage as well So single crochet back loop only here now where is your stitch marker you will work under the full stitch so front and back loop as you can see here and I will place one two into the middle one place a stitch marker and one more into the same place now you could work under the back loop into the middle stitch as well but i think this way it looks much nicer so try both ways and you decide so into the third one on top 
I will start my single crochet back loop only. So if you decide that you want to work single crochet back loop only into this middle stitch where you're placing three single crochet, of course, you can do so as well. So you have two options. Actually, you have three because this whole cup can be done with single crochet under the full stitch as well. So continue all the way down. So once again, I have only two stitches left. So I will do single crochet back loop only here and into this very last one I will work under the full stitch and this way it will be much stronger and nicer chain one and turn your work and that's how you are going to work on your cup so you will work single crochet back loop only all the way up once you get to your three stitches at the top, first one you will work single crochet back loop only. The middle one you will work under the full stitch, you will place three single crochet. In the middle one, where is your stitch marker? Then into the third one, you will start to work single crochet back loop only all the way down. Once you come to your last stitch, you will work under the full stitch again, chain one and turn your work. Single crochet back loop only will give you this beautiful texture and ribbing look for your bikini cup. So now you will work for as many rows as you need for your bra until you get your full bra cup. So for my bra cup, so for my bikini cup, I will need about six, six and a half inches. You can make it smaller or bigger. It depends how big coverage do you want for your bikini cup so it's up to you maybe you want it more smaller maybe bigger it's totally up to you just as you work try it on in front of the mirror and you will decide and this is our cup completely for my size so as i said i am cup d so i have about six and a half inch but of course you can make it bigger or smaller just measure it and decide how big coverage do you want for your bikini cup. And for my size cup D, I have done 15 rows. And you count them like this. They go like that. So it means 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. And this single crochet back loop only gives us this really nice ribbing look and beautiful texture and of course remember your first number so for my cup it was chain of 20 write it down just to make sure you won't forget because you will need to make two of these cups for your bikini or for your crochet top you can use it this way as well so you would have two cups like so and one like this or you can use it this way as well and i am finishing here and i am going to work my last single crochet under the full stitch Chain one and we are ready to fasten off like so.
So if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like it, share it, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Unique Stitch Designs for more ideas from me, Sylvia, and please don't forget to find me on social medias. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. Thank you very much for watching.